it, it is bigger than it was last year. It really does bring all the players together, all the important people in this field. There's a lot of good discussions, there's a lot of good opportunities. African solutions for African problems. There's a demand, an international demand for hydrogen. We all need to be part of the discussion and part of the solution. Pioneer and be a part of the solutions. Vital meeting point for the industry. I believe that the event will go a long way in creating awareness. The time for Africa is now. It's quite an important opportunity because we really want to take the global and, and bring it down to South Africa. development of a local hydrogen economy and the broader transition happening in the energy sector provides an opportunity for training, skills development and creating employment. We aim to underscore the vast potential of green hydrogen both in South Africa and across the continent. Designing right from the beginning the mechanisms with which you can extract value our mandate is to focus on uh, what we would call sustainable infrastructure, both here in South Africa and in the African continent. The idea is to produce, to have the expertise, and also to uh, develop a local green economy, a continental green economy. Where is our innovation? Where is our technology? Where is our uh, projects? A statement, many questions few solutions and I feel like we need to have reforms in terms of grants, concessional loans. It's a very well put together uh, conference. I was here last year and happy to be back. Around the question of how can the African continent take advantage of the opportunities, we've heard that the continent is very well placed, you know, given the ample renewable energy resources we have. Honestly, you can't have a technical solution if you don't have financing, if you don't have the regulations or anything else that needs to be in place for hydrogen to actually become real in this country. Very diverse, it covers the entire spectrum of the hydrogen economy, hydrogen value chain. And then we need to move to from talking to actually doing and to delivery. Now we're moving slowly into really the realization of projects. So having the first ideas, the first um, investors on board. Having like-minded people, enthusiasts of the hydrogen economy gathering together and moving forward for the hydrogen economy. Having important networking and setting a, a step into this market that will be the future for the greening economy. Through its initiatives, the Department of Science and Innovation, DSI, strives to foster a national system of innovation in which creativity, learning and entrepreneurship can flourish and address socio-economic challenges that our country faces. It brings a lot of the, I think, significant and key role players into the same room to pioneer and be a part of the solutions that get our country and Africa into a greener state um, sustainably. Very positive networking that's happening in and between the different events. The conversation is frank. The space is safe for us to have that honest conversation and I think people are well receiving the different views. The key terms that will be important in the future projects for, for hydrogen and the hydrogen economy. We need to make sure that South Africa does not play the wrong role. And w why do we say that? We need to be able to make sure that every part of the value chain we can capture it. Every part of the value chain we can actually be able to extract economic benefit for the country as a whole. But the greater bit of it is how do we create jobs? and jobs that are actually meaningful and jobs that actually move us forward. A hydrogen to be deemed as green, it means it needs to be the power that is a use in the plant needs to be green. So government really has to come into play and just give people the money because money can come from private sector alone. Get involved, it, this is the future, it's a energy revolution. So let's be part of it and, and make history. The role of public-private partnerships 
in the green hydrogen economy is vital because this is an emerging, there are many risks, there are many unknowns, it's a developing uh, um, opportunity, not only for South Africa but around the world. The Hydrogen Society Roadmap has identified various sectors, including primary industrial sectors, in South Africa that can benefit from the uptake of hydrogen and related technologies. And there's definitely been globally um, enormous development, progress, and it's really an exciting space to be in at the moment. And I think it's a good platform for companies to, to meet uh, and start the collaborations. It provides a platform to know what's going on. Panel discussions drilled into some of the important issues related to infrastructure, related to market access and marketing, related to building capacity. Um, so it enables really good conversations between the different stakeholders. They, there aren't any hierarchies, it's not difficult to get hold of someone. I think it's important to engage with the people because ultimately we want to grow the economy. If we want to grow green hydrogen, you need to be here to make sure that we actually get things going. This is where we put the boots on the ground. Um, through this, we are able to actually see what the economy is as a whole and how we can tap into it, whether it be through natural resources, engineering, innovation, 4IR. This uh, conference gave us a, a, a platform to engage with the local um, companies and the key stakeholders from government. Leveraging your natural resources, right? You know, making the investments that are needed, both in the production of hydrogen and then from there, additional value-added products as well. In the first place, we need to understand what the value chain is. In the early phases, especially, it's all about government. So we've got government policies, government regulations. Different perspectives and, and talk about green hydrogen and there's also a lot of talk about just transition and all those are important topics. Um, what the South Africa needs is infrastructure to export hydrogen or derivatives. Talking about area classifications, talking about choosing the right materials on a technical level, discussing with the right people. We need to create those enabling environments. Government isn't doing enough. Bring our knowledge uh, in the fertilizer field to move downstream. So if you are to drive hydrogen and hydrogen investment, foreign direct investment would be important to appreciate. DSI would like to work with other stakeholders on a range of issues. First, the establishment of an extensive network to transport and distribute hydrogen to meet high levels of hydrogen demand. Probably we only need 40% of that green hydrogen to produce our own power but probably 60% of it can be uh, uh, exported. That the whole of the globe is moving uh, towards sustainability. We've heard presentations during the two weeks about transportation of hydrogen. Well, we are here to actually see where do we fit into the infrastructure with the uh, attending companies and whoever there is that we can collaborate with in the sense of hydrogen. Enhancing the national institutional capabilities, putting in place enabling policy frameworks improve technological readiness to stimulate local demand and facilitate the local manufacturing. Of A balanced energy mix is for me encouraging because we, we need electricity yesterday. To have hydrogen both for domestic market and for export market. So I think that the Africa Free Trade Agreement will be very key. It's about making investments in pilot studies and in project development work. It is something that can be made real in South Africa and it really can be a future for us. What is our socialization plan? At what point in time do we get out of being in here and being out there? Make the progress, learn, move on, learn, making more progress. This year, the innovation was at its highest. The, the conversations have moved on. Africa will then become the, the hub or the powerhouse for renewables. We have to have investors, we have to try and get these pipelines going, otherwise the projects won't go anywhere. We need to capitalize on what we have so that we can monetize on what we have. Continue to build stronger partnerships between government, private sector and civil society in an effort to create an enabling policy environment for the effective implementation of the hydrogen society. But I would like to see how we take it outside of the conference and actually start seeing things happen. We need to act and we need to act now. We need to drive skills development. To bring uh, key stakeholders together. Uh, 
uh, decision makers together. Yeah, definitely take the opportunity to, to, to come to something like this because you don't know the kind of people that you'd be able to network with. If you're not here, you've missed a great conference. See you at DVAC Hydrogen 2024. See you at DVAC Hydrogen H Conference 2024. It's like-minded people. I'm looking forward to seeing you at DVAC Hydrogen H 2024. At DVEC Hydrogen 2024. Anybody should be here next year as well. I look forward to 2024. See you at DVEC. Hydrogen H 100%. Can't wait to see you.